Welcome back to my channel. I had a few of you guys asking for a little more of an in-depth tutorial on this map design So let's just go ahead and get straight into it So first things first We're gonna go ahead and open procreate and on the right hand side click the plus and we're gonna choose a square for this design on the top right we're going to view our layers and Also, I will show you with a brush. We're gonna be using the monoline brush for this entire design also take note the right hand corner this is where you'll choose your color of the brush so i chose a green here and you can move it around to choose the shade and then this is just me showing you the green brush you can resize on the left you can change the opacity on the bottom then you can see on the top right that i chose the eraser just to erase everything that i had written now let's go to the wrench on the left hand corner this is where we're going to insert our photo this takes you to your photo library so you'll just choose the screenshot that you chose i'm choosing a park nearby that i really like to go to and now we're just going to resize and fit it to be exactly where we want it. At this point, we're going to add a new layer and you just do that by clicking the plus button. I'm going to take the color of the water by holding down and it'll automatically choose the color that you have selected. We're going to go back to our original layer and we're going to turn down the opacity. So basically you click the little N and then you can move the little bar on the opacity there. Then let's go back to layer two and we're going to start drawing our water. So basically we're just going to follow the path of the water based on the picture behind it. And that's what you're going to do for all water in the picture. So let's speed through this. Now that we're just about done with our water, we are going to zoom out and if you take the color from the right hand side and drag it over to a large area, it'll fill that space just like you saw there. Now let's add another layer and we're going to go in and trace the streets. Again, we're just going to stick with the monoline brush and this time we're going to use black. So if you'd like the perfect black, you'll just double click the bottom area there and it'll get that perfect black for you. And now we're just going to start tracing the lines of the road. So I'm going to show you here basically me drawing those lines. Before we start speeding this up, I want to show you how to get a perfect straight line if needed. So right here you can see that I draw it, but I don't let go and then it straightens itself out. Now let's speed it up. Just about done so let's go ahead and add the heart to 
to our place of choice. To do this, we're gonna add another layer and we're going to go to our colors, move it to red, and find the perfect red that we want for our heart. Zoom into your place of choice and go ahead and just draw a heart right on top. Now what you'll see me doing here is taking that very first layer of the original map and just turning it off. So I just unchecked that box. We'll now duplicate all of our layers. I do this just in case I make a mistake and I need an extra backup. Then I'm going to go ahead and group all of those layers together that I've just duplicated and then I'm turning off the other layers. You can combine these layers now by using a pinching motion and it'll group it all together for you. Nice and pretty. Now we're going to select our eraser tool and we're going to resize to a reasonable size and we're going to now draw a circle in the eraser. So just make sure that when you draw your circle you hold it down and then up top you're going to change it to circle. The blue dots that you see are used to resize so you can move those around. Just make sure whenever you're done to choose the circle back up top. Now we're just gonna go ahead and erase everything on the outside of your circle that you just drew. Now in the top left, you can choose the little cursor. This will select everything that's in that layer and you can move it around, place it exactly where you want it to be. Now to add text, you actually don't need a new layer. When you add text, it'll automatically make its own layer for you. So we're gonna go to the wrench on the left and choose add text. Making sure all of the word is highlighted, you can change the color. And then I'm gonna just type in what I want my map design to say. Now you can mess around with the way that it looks. You can resize, you can move it around, just have it perfectly where you want it to be. To change the font, you can double click and move those blue dots all the way to the left. Choose the font up top and then you can scroll and find a font that you like. I'm using an imported font that I imported to my iPad. Now again, we can just use our selector tool up top and just move things around, make it bigger, smaller, however you need it to look. Also, just make sure that if you want to move something in particular like the map design, go to that layer to make that change. I'm going to show you very quickly how you can make sure everything lines up perfectly. So you can choose canvas and then turn on your drawing guide. If you go to your edit drawing guide, you can change the grid size, the thickness, opacity, all on that bottom part there, and then click done up top when you're done. This will give you the opportunity to make sure everything lines up perfectly and is nice and symmetrical. Now let's go back into our settings and turn off the grid just so we can see our final product. And here we have it, my favorite park. Now we can export this image by going to the wrench, going to share, saving it to a JPEG, and then I personally just save it to my images, and then I can post from there or put it wherever I need it to be. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I will be really happy to answer them. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!